All right. I got two awesome share trades that I am excited to share. I also have a freaking awesome tool that I'm excited to share with you guys as well. Let's go one trade first, and then we'll talk about the tool. Accolade. Right now, ACCD Accolade is having a lovely, lovely day. It's up 7%. It was up a little bit higher. But one thing we'll know with this stock is it stays within its expected move. I think it's only a one year. If I put it on two years, it's going to go up like 95%. It's going to go really, really high. Um, oh, options. There we go. What we also have with ACCD is we have earnings as well. So it's an earnings play. And I actually started this because, um, Stace, it, it was the conversation that we were having that uh, finding stocks to short are kind of slim pickings, which they are, because everything is, is looking pretty good. ACCD, we have earnings coming up. Oh, this is on two years. I wonder if I put it on one year. One year, 83%. Okay, three years, 75%. It must be my next one that's a uh, 95%er. Um, what I like about it, though, it stayed within its expected move. Three years, 75%. You know, two years, one year, 83%. The stock moves from its earnings. Without a doubt, it moves from its earnings. So right here, you can see it's a monstrous move. And so how I found this was I looked for names that are moving a ton post earnings that are still priced, you know, somewhat inexpensive in the market. So earnings here, uh, looks like that might, uh, they missed big. Here, top of a move, big move after earnings. And then here, some stocks are really affected by their earnings. Some stocks don't really care about earnings, like stocks in the oil sector care more about the price of oil than they do about you know the earnings from individual companies, at least in my opinion. ACCD, I like buying puts. I think it's very, very timely because not only do we think that the VIX is inexpensive, so volatility you know, should go higher, we kind of have a backstop here knowing that this name doesn't like to close outside of its expected move. So I'm willing to guess that it's not going to go into its earnings outside its expected move. If it's going to stop, if it's going to uh, close outside of its expected move, I would think an event would take it there. So if I move this aside and we look at Accolade, I realized, you know, with Masters in Trading, it's made me kind of system systematize a lot more of what I do. I used to kind of just reaction. Um, but I've definitely found that at the tail end of earnings season, people kind of, you know, forget about these final names. And ACCD is a name that has yet to release their earnings. And they're actually going to be in the May. I, let me double check. If anybody beats me to it, when are the earnings or the estimated earnings for uh, Accolade? I'm sure you guys will beat me to it. Uh, let's go. Come on, there's no way I can win this. Stacy, that doesn't count. Kind of like cheating, right? End of April, April 27th. Thank you. So April, thank you, Zane, too. April 27th. So April 27th, what you don't have, you can't, these Aprils don't include earnings. I mean, this is, I mean, you, you, you could buy May and sell April if you wanted to, it's a more advanced position. Selling anything in, in, in April and you're buying in May, I don't think that's necessary. I think these 12 and a halfs are dandy. Um, you know, the problem with these, it might take a little bit of time to get filled. I would not buy these. Please don't do that. Please never do that. Right now, the market is 55 cents in the industry. They call that double. It's double at 90 cents. A good bid right now, especially because nothing is really traded. 65 cents is a good bid. Fine. And then you could just leave it there. I don't like these. I don't like these. I don't like these. Why don't I like these? Because they don't include the earnings and I don't want to buy these. Um, the other thing I really like about it is you get that short exposure. You get a little bit more short deltas for your portfolio. That's ACCD, just on the put side. Any questions on that before I move on? ACCD, just work a limit order. Okay, good. Great example of a trade that we like. By the way, very similar to last week's red line trade in love, which was an absolute home run. Hey, Nance, 
How's it going? Um, it's you can well, actually not in April. I mean, you could. It's it's really the same thing. I mean, it's just working in order. I, I would you know ninety cents a dollar great. It's just working a limit order in there, and then just watching it. We will get more volume as we get closer and closer to earnings. Maybe when these expire, it's just a really good one to watch, especially with it up seven percent today. I think it's just just very a timely trade. Before you do anything, guys, let me show you the next one. The next one's going to be another similar type of trade. Neo Genomics. Neo Genomics is the next one. Another one of the few names that do have their earnings still yet to be released that actually you know flies around during earnings season. And let me see. Neo's estimated earnings again, April 27th. You know what's cool about that is that it puts us in this May expiration cycle. Again, I just think a lot of people forget or, or lose sight that there are still names for earnings. Um, a lot of the names that we're going to play are going out of markets like this. Both of the names that I'm, I'm trading or, or suggesting, ACCD and NEO, both have very similar markets, so you're going to have to watch them. Love the trade. Let me explain more about, about why. Has NEO only released earnings once? No. Okay. Gotcha, gotcha. So here's another one. So Neo, Neo has earnings coming up and their earnings again are April 27th. Now that's just estimated earnings. Stocks uh, come out usually about two weeks before with the official earnings date, but the estimate is close. At least for us, it tells us which expiration cycle we wanna be in. We absolutely do not wanna be in the April expiration cycle because it doesn't include earnings. What was interesting to me about this name is any biotech or, or um, pharmaceutical company that moves a lot based upon earnings is very weird to me. Like I just, it's like a trust factor <laughs> um, rather than just on, on drug approval. But the last time it released earnings, it moved 35% higher. The time before it released earnings, it moved 32% higher. The time before it re released earnings, it moved 19% higher. This time it only moved 6%, so it didn't really move as much. But this time it shot up again, it shot up here, it shot up. So I don't know, that's weird. It just is. And sure, it's weird that it's making big moves, but fine. But if we if we look and say, okay, this thing likes to move post earnings. I was just looking at why the net change was zero, but I think it's just coincidentally zero because it's certainly trading. There we go. Um, if we look at the options, don't go into April, right? We know no April. And investor day, April 4th. Thank you, Stacey Provitz. Great call. Why is that a good call? Because it's another reason for the stock to move. Investor day, are they going to say a bunch of stuff that's going to make the stock not move? Judging by this company, when it releases earnings, it likes to say things that that are that are that makes the stock move. So obviously, you can't play that game forever. To me, that's just vol inducing. It's not bullish. It's just not trusting the company. And to me, it's volatility inducing. Um, again, I don't like April because it doesn't include the earnings. I do like May. May right now, this being the expected move. What is that? Twenty percent. Right, uh, 153, 340, 22%, a little bit higher. Last earnings to move 35%, the time before moved 32%. Right now, May, there's 22% expected move, and I get 49 days, and I get the investor day, and I get 49 days. Sign me up. I like it. I like it. Now, what many don't realize is that if you take this trade today, and you hold it until April 26th, the day before its earnings release, and you get out of the trade and you break even, that's a, an amazing trade. The reason that would be an amazing trade is because the idea is that NEO, N-E-O, is already priced to go into earnings. That's the whole idea of this trade of ACCD. If we get any movement on top of that, that's when we can parlay this into a really big trade. Does that make sense? We're getting into these trades or considering getting into these trades 30 days before the earnings announcement. If you can trade this thing around and make a little bit of money 
and cover your debit, put this into a free trade going into earnings, then you just get the upside of that potential movement. NEO looked crazy when you go a little bit further out and it was a high value target tool. Now, I don't know, they may have like discovered a new form of energy or, or this company obviously did something very, very special because it's 300%, it's valued at 300% more than it was in just November. So it would be very curious to know what insiders are doing. I haven't, you know, gone into that just yet, but here's what NEO looks like on a daily, but look what happens if I extend this a little bit and I put her on a weekly, because a weekly right now, they are screaming for this thing to come back to reality, come back to life, buddy. So with that being said, and you know, this, this high value target tool, is it is it perfect? No, it gets up here, it just, it gets extended, it's coming back. Here, great, it called it early, but look, it's still, it gets extended. But finally, it keeps on doing it, it's rolling over. Here too, it gets it early, it eventually, it, it rolls, it's not perfect, but definitely here, with going into earnings, with looking for a place to get some short exposure in this environment, with being bullish on volatility, going through those charts where we started, this to me seems like a pretty good deal. You can do the trade for, you can do the at the money. I like to do the puts again. Again, thinking back to the conversation that people are looking for short exposure right now, either these 17 halves mid-market or the same thing, working a limit order, 65 cent bid. You have 49 days to enjoy the trade. You get earnings, you get investor day, you get a lot of reasons for this thing to move. Seems like what we're looking for in an out of the money call.